To those wondering, my current counts are 16 heart pieces, 3 heart containers from the 3 dungeons, and 44 Skulltula tokens. Eee! Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. It's time to do the mask trading game from the Happy Mask Shop. This sucker is now open now. And sure, oh, what the heck? Wait, you don't sell masks? Well, how do you call it a shop? You lend them to me. This is ridiculous. I've never heard of a shop like this in my entire life. This is insanity. I like it. Holy crap, this guy's freaky. <laughs> uh, thank you, Mr. Freaky Guy. Uh, uh, sure. Um, okay. I'll do anything you say, just please don't hurt me. I, I would very much appreciate if you wouldn't hurt me, okay? Have faith, okay. The first mask that you are going to buy is the Keaton mask. Well, you get it lent to you for 10 rupees. <laughs> so, yeah. Now, go over to Kakariko Village and talk to the guard that was guarding the place to um, the... Death Mountain Path, excuse me. This guy right over here! Well, actually, he... I, I mean, I forgot to wear the mask. Curses! Yes, you must wear the mask before uh, he'll react to you. And there we go. Do <laughs> you think you're in disguise, Mr. Hero? Oh! Is that a key something character mask? I heard he's very popular recently. He's my boy's favorite, that... Key something, it's mask. If you don't mind, will you sell it to me? Yeah, sure. Hey, wait, why are you wearing this? And if it's for your, yeah. And if you come back here all the time, he'll be wearing this mask. Yeah, right, it's for his son. <laughs> And so we're back at the Happy Mask Shop. Oh yes I did, and unfortunately I have to give back 50 rupees, that's okay. Now, let's borrow the Skull Mask and go over to the Lost Woods. Specifically, that place with all those Deku Scrubs. Do you remember this place? Oh yes, this place with the Deku Scrubs and that bean uh, hole or whatever. See these butterflies? Look for a hole. Look for a hole. Come on, I know it's around here somewhere. Don't fool me, Johnson. You can't fool me. Although you're fooling me, Johnson. Where is this thing? Ah, there we go. <laughs> now down here, you're gonna see a load of Deku scrubs. Well, you can't see them just yet. But put on this mask. Approach. Oh, you're so cute, just being all in sync like that, and... Holy poopers, I'm being worshipped. I am being worshipped. Go over to this guy. <laughs> or at least I think you're supposed to go to this guy. I thought. Ah, oh, there we go. <laughs> all the young Deku Scroll brothers agree. You look exactly like our sacred forest totem. As an offering from us, please accept these Deku sticks. We will also enhance your carrying skills. Abracadabra! Alakazam! Was that a Pokemon reference? I don't know, but I'm going to accept it as such. And now let's go over to the Skull Kid. Don't forget, just take a left right at the entrance to the Lost Woods, and there's the Skull Kid. Put on your Skull Mask, hop up on here, Z-Target, and talk to that sucker. Hee hee, under that mask, aren't you that Kokiri Kid? Why, yes I am. How did you recognize me with my perfect disguise? Quite an unusual mask you have there. Hee <laughs> hee, I like it. It may make me look a little bit tougher. Hey, why don't you give it to me? Ah, sure, what the heck. Yowza! I'm going to wear this all the time! He just gave you 10 rupees. Oh, curses! I lost... Ah, freaking... Don't worry, it's essential, but still. Yeah, you need some rupees to keep this trading sequence going. Back to the mask shop! Oh, yes I did, happy mask dude. And unfortunately I have to pay him back. I'm down to 40 rupees now. But look at this! There's another mask! The spooky mask. You need 30 rupees for it. Well... For now. Ooh, it's a very spooky mask. To the graveyard! Hey, I thought you were gonna give that mask to your son! You lied to me! 
Ah, uh, yes, the graveyard. Remember this kid, the kid that refuses to let you pull gravestones? Well, I'm sure he'll enjoy this mask quite a bit. Good! Stand by the gravekeeper! What? How the heck? This mask makes me look a lot more attractive than Dampy. Never mind, never mind. Never. So, you want the mask? Yeah, sure, what the heck. Here, take it. Now, give me a pretty penny for this sucker here. And I got full price. Oh, yeah, baby. This kid is rolling in the dough. Back to the mask shop, baby. All right, what do you have for me this time, shopkeep? That's barely a shopkeep. All right, there's your money back. So, let's see what else we got. The bunny hood. Fi 50 rupees? Well, I can get it now. <laughs> Uh, but basically, the guy that I'm going to be giving this to will fill up our wallet to the maximum, so it's definitely a good idea to use up as much of your rupees as you possibly can. That's why I bought as much of those beans as I could in the last part, because of the fact that he does fill up your wallet to the max, no matter what size wallet you have. That's also why I pushed to get the uh, Giant's wallet a little bit early, because of the fact that uh, I would be able to max this sucker out at 500 rupees. Now, remember that running guy that's running around Lan Lan Ranch? He's still running. <laughs> now, he goes around counterclockwise, so I should be able to meet up with him if I go... Cal <clears throat> excuse me, clockwise. I have really bad allergies again. I'm blaming the fall here. It's messing with my speech. It's giving me mucus bubbles, and I am not liking it. Oh, that was a weird graphical glitch there. All you have to do is just follow this path here, and he also follows that... Wait, I thought... I thought the guy follows the path around the thingy. Huh. I don't think he goes all the way around. That would be preposterous. <laughs> uh, but I'm... Hmm. Well, he's somewhere around Lan Lan Ranch. Randomly, basically. So, let's find him wherever the heck he is, and... That's the guy that we need to find to give him this mask, basically. Oh! He's right there! He's right there! And he's not all that fast, despite being a running man. I'll just cut him off at the pass here. And... I would like... How hard is it to talk to a running man here? Let me... No, not the pea hats. You! <laughs> what? What is wrong with you? I want to talk with you. Are you antisocial or something like that? Mm. Please stop running. No! Do you stop at any point? I need to talk to you. You're the guy that wants this mask. Look, I'm wearing it. <laughs> There's pink hats everywhere. There we go. I guess you have to wait for him to stop running. <laughs> But wait, what voices? What kind of... Oh my goodness, you are a weird guy. Yeah, sure. Give me all your pocket change. I chased you down to the ends of the earth. And... Keep watching. Keep watching. It's still going up. <laughs> it's still going up, man. Still going... <laughs> Oh yeah, baby, look at me raking in the change. I'm not even by him, and he's still giving me money. Oh, I'm maxed out. <laughs> back to the mask shop to pay back the 50. All right, here's your cash back, and I'm not even going to tell you how much I got for this mask at all, otherwise you might mug me for it. <laughs> and basically, all the masks are now sold out. Now, you'll see that there are four special masks. Um, I forgot to tell you about the uh, skull mask over there. If you wear it, and you can borrow it any time that you want to, Keese will not attack you. They will not track you down for whatever reason. So that's a pretty handy mask there, but there's a far more entertaining mask that I'll be taking here. As a matter of fact, there's four entertaining masks. And I get the Mask of Truth! This is entertainment mask number one here. <laughs> and you'll see a bunch of masks just appeared right on the shelf there. Now, if you take a look on the shelf there, you'll see a Zora mask. 
a Gerudo mask and a Goron mask. These do absolutely nothing other than get humorous reactions out of people. So like you could talk to Gerudos with the Gerudo mask and they'll get irritated that you're trying to impersonate them and stuff like that. You get the idea. Just play around with these masks, but they aren't essential to getting anything in this game. They're just for fun. It's just like that, uh, Oh, actually, I shouldn't say that. I was going to say it's just like the uh, uh, Mask of Truth that I got here, but actually I need this to get an upgrade back at the Lost Woods. Deku Scrubs, bow down to your new leader. Yeah, I'm back over here. There's another upgrade that you can get from these critters if you wear this mask. Oh, 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 oh. All right, I'll go talk to you. <laughs> what do you have to say to me? Oh, yes, I did. What? <laughs> yes. This is the last Deku Nut upgrade you will ever need. <laughs> so, I got both Deku Stick upgrades and both Deku Nut upgrades. <laughs> I be pro now. Oh, I just realized something. I should probably go over to Zora's Domain. I completely forgot about this thing. I was looking over the footage of the last part when I edited it, and I was like, Oh, I forgot to light the torches in Zora's Domain for a heart piece. So I might as well just show you this thingy right here. See this? Dive under here. Oh, where are we going? Where are we going? Oh, super shortcut land! And yeah, we're at Zora's River. Huge, huge shortcut back to the waterfall. You may recall King Zora over here, Chubbs. Well, there's a couple torches up here that are lit, but the other ones at the bottom floor are not, so let's go ahead and light them. This is the pathway that I typically take here. I believe they stay lit once you uh, light them. See, like that one did a little cutscene thingy to say, hey, this thingy's lit. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> one, there's another one over here, down by the shop, and then there's another one over here in the water, hopefully I'll be able to get this quick enough before my stick burns out, and, uh, there's another one? Oh, behind the waterfall, I did not catch that before, <laughs> I just seen that when I switched the camera around, please do not put out, put out my water, uh, 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 hmm? Was I too slow? Was I too slow? Is there one that is... Did this one go out over here? Yeah, it did. So these are... Crappers! These are timed. Let me try that route again. <laughs> I unfortunately have to until I, you know, get the heart piece. This is a 100% run after all. I've done this before, I just forgot their locations. Because I haven't, you know, 100%ed this game for ages. Well, I should say I 100%ed the original Ocarina of Time, not Master Quest. I never 100%ed Master Quest, but this is a thingy that is in the original game. It's just that I completely forgot how to do it. <laughs> I should say where the locations of these things are. Yep. Uh, I was too slow again. You're telling me I was too slow again. What's it gonna take? What's it gonna take? Do I have to do it like all in one run or something? I don't know, it just seems... Oh. Well, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know whatsoever. I guess those other three stay lit longer than that one at the shop. That's why it went out first before. Anyway, inside this chest is a heart piece. Ow. Link, do not hit your head on the chest. <sighs> Kids these days, I swear. Anyway, back to Hyrule Market. I should make note of something here on Zora's River on the way back. If you would swim directly down the center of the river, you'll get a bunch of rupees on the way back. It's just like at uh, Hyrule Castle. I've gotten them a couple times before in the past, so... If you ever seen my ruby counts go up after I, you know, backtrack through Zora's River, this is why. <laughs> I don't know why rupees are strewn about in the center of the rivers around the world, but they are. Anyway, Hyrule Market, let's go now. 
You may ask yourself, why do we go back over here? Well, it's about time we finally start to make some progress in the storyline once again. So what you want to go over is to this area that I never showed before, this church-like structure here. This leads to the Temple of Time. Ah, and Gossip Stones. Whenever you wear the Mask of Truth, you can talk to these Gossip Stones, and they'll actually say some silly or interesting things. So, oh, so it does. I overheard this. They say the Gerudo sometimes come to Hyrule Castle Town to look for boyfriends. <laughs> I guess they're not as uh, battle-hardened as we once thought they were. Let's talk to this one here. This is why this is one of the funniest masks, or I should say, it is the funniest mask in my opinion, I think, that, uh, because you can talk to these things and they'll say all these random things. Use glass? What? It's against the rules? I can't use glasses? Well, screw the rules, I have money. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I'll show you what that treasure box game is later, once I get the Mask of Truth. You'll see why, because it's practically impossible to win it as a, as a kid. Uh, well, I should say without the Mask of Truth. Anyway, let's continue on with the chats here. Well, I don't know, I hope a knight in shining armor will occur. Uh-oh, I am not liking the sounds of that prophecy. <laughs> I had a bad feeling when I was over there before, but this is, uh... It's a little bit frightening, I have to say, but yeah, these are called Gossip Stones because of the fact that they've heard so many rumors, basically. What? He's a cheater, I swear. Oh, never mind. <laughs> now, over here, very nice graphics, I have to say, for this area. Well, I guess it's okay. It's, it's pre-rendered and all like that, but it looks pretty impressive at the time, and still kind of does now. This is the Temple of Time. Remember I was supposed to play the Zelda's lullaby in front of this thingy? At least I think I was. Wasn't I? Wait, can I like see targety thingy? No, no, okay. Well, there's a Temple of Time door. Whenever you see this symbol on a block or thing, you're supposed to play the Temple of Time. So I guess I was supposed to play the thingy. Uh, maybe not there. <laughs> um, oh, now I can check it. Now I can check it. Yeah, these three hollows here are the things that I'm supposed to place those three stones that I got from the three dungeons. Alright! I played it better the first time. <laughs> oh, I bet you're, you're excited! I too am very excited. I gotta say, I've been having a lot of fun with this walkthrough. Maybe it's because I'm re-experiencing a classic in its newer form, so to speak. Like, because I only played through Master Quest once, let alone never 100%ed it, so it's like a fresh new experience to me, basically, to go and do all these things for the first time. And so the doors have opened that we have been locked out of, even though we haven't seen those doors a single time, because I knew there was absolutely nothing that I could do <laughs> if I came here early. Um, I would like to get my s spiritual stones, please. I need to sell them on eBay. No, I can't collect them. I just walked through them. They're stuck floating there, which makes no sense. All right, let's go through here and get the Triforce. I gotta sell that sucker on eBay. That's gotta be worth a ton. I mean, the treasure that people have been looking for for thousands upon thousands of years. Huh? Is that... No, this isn't the Triforce. What is this? Legendary Blade. The Master Sword. Oh, I wanted to try for so I was gonna just sell it for more rupees. Then again, it would overflow my wallet. Ah, uh, why is there a limitation to how much cash you can have at uh, one time? It's blasphemy. Anyway, grab this sword! This thing's gotta be worth quite a bit. Oh! I mean, there are sword collectors out there, but what is this weird light? Oh my god. Ganondorf! What? Don't tell me I played into his hands. This can't be. 
Oh, poopers. I really hope he doesn't get the Triforce before I can get it and sell it on eBay. I'm not liking the sound of that laugh. Link. Wake up. Link, the chosen one. Wake up? Was I sleeping or something? Did I get hit by some noxious gas like Rosie O'Donnell's armpits or something like that? This room is quite enchanting, I have to say. Oh, 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 oh yeah. Raru. Um, nice to meet you. Have you seen the Triforce around here? Chamber of Sages, huh? What? I unlocked the opening to the secret sacred realm. Oh my goodness. Wait, look at myself. What, what's oh dang it, Navi's still there. Ah I've aged seven years! How did this happen? Where did all this hair come from? So, I guess the sacred master sword cannot be held by evil, and apparently I'm not evil despite hating Navi with every fiber of my being. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I guess I spoiled the seven years part there, that you went forward in time, or I should say we got um, stuck here for seven years. Um, yeah, I, I think I got the gist of it. <laughs> I, I prefer not to uh, have this stuff repeated. Thank you. <laughs> oh, he did make it. Oh, that's not good. He got the Triforce, and now he's the king of evil. And he's soon to be rich if he sells it on eBay before I can get it back from him. I must get it back. Before it's sold to some collector. What's gonna happen? Okay, so I guess I gotta go get all the sages seals, and he's one of the sages. So that must mean that I will get a thing from him. Hint, hint, the light medallion. Golden. Is that 24 carat? That's got to be worth a pretty penny as well. Woo! And so we got the light medallion. I shall. And make myself rich in the process. And we're here at the Temple of Time, seven years into the future. I bet you you can't wait to see what's changed in the world in all this time. That, unfortunately, is going to have to wait until the next part. Ha <laughs> ha Yeah, the seven years really did pass. Oh, and I, for I forgot to mention this here. For some odd reason, you can't use certain items that you got as a kid. I don't know why. Whoa! I'll, I'll show you what items you can't use. Who are you? I've been waiting for you, hero of time. Oh, happy music! That means this person must not be evil. The music tells all.
Ah, poetry. Such beauty. Why am I getting all philosophical now? I have no idea. Shika? You're part of the Shika tribe? Survivor? What happened to the other Shikas? Indeed I am, and this thing is shiny. It's also got a lot better range than that dang paring knife I used to use. Ah! Wait. Do I know the girl that's a sage at the forest temple? Perhaps I do, perhaps I don't. Maybe we'll see once we get there. Yes, I do know the girl. <laughs> yeah, I understand. Just gotta go over to the Sacred Forest Meadow. And, uh, you know what? I'll just chat with you for a second here. To save the forest girl, you need another skill. Head to Kakariko Village. That's actually where I'm gonna be going next. But anyway, I'll just show you this really quick. This is so weird. I never understood this. You can't use Deku Sticks, your Slingshot, my favorite item in the game, the Boomerang, any beans, uh, um, the Mask of Truth. You can't use any masks for whatever reason. I don't know why. You can't use your Kokiri Sword. Can't use your um, Bullet Bag because, you know, you can't use the Slingshots. The Goron's Bracelet. Out of the question. It only fits a kid for whatever reason. Maybe that explains why the Gorons couldn't lift that boulder. Because they couldn't use... Well, never mind. I mean, they couldn't lift the bombs because they couldn't use the Bracelet. I don't know, but it's extremely weird. I never understood why you can't use your old equipment. But you can't. It's limited to kid only. But anyway... I've done enough in this part. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part. You know what? I better save the game. <laughs>